All right, so it's time to finally uh, get this on GitHub. Um, so you're all welcome to participate in this. Um, any contributions in the C++ world is welcome. And for the front end, I think we will use Svelte. So anyone who's, you know, eager to learn that or has experience is also very welcome to, to get on board and, uh, you know, join the efforts here. So uh, I will now show you around a bit. So if we go to um, the GitHub page, I think you can see it, right? So this is the address, GitHub com saving caustic. And here you can see previous efforts in me trying to build this, uh, you know, idea of how it could work. I used PHP because that's the programming language I uh, have most experience with. Um, obviously, that's too slow for real-time rendering. So now this is the thing. This is where you want to go. Um, so here's here's a, like the project, and what you get if you like download this, and I will show you the, the prerequisites later. How you what you need to set up. I have a blank uh, PC that um, you know I can. Uh, do the installation of different libraries that currently has is just a blank uh, Linux Mint, so it's li Linux only for now. So if you want to join and you don't know Linux, you can you know Google around and you can always run Linux in a virtual box or something like that. Anyhow, this is the project and this is how it looks like. Android, well, not much, not much here, but the idea is that. There need to be some customizations for the Android port, so we can just have, have them inside there and then do some like, symbolic linking or stuff like that. Uh, assets, this is where <clears throat> read-only, factory pres presets, uh, presets and, and front-end stuff goes. So here you have the front-end and here you have the API, API reference. So uh, this is the API reference uh, endpoints that you can test. Um, so I will just show you that later. So back to the overview here and you have some rack patches and you know, stuff that you want to read uh, that are factory presets. Uh, and that is, you know, uh, opposite to user where there is like blank. Um, so that's where the user adds stuff for user press presets or user songs and stuff like that. Um, and then we have the thing in the middle. The doc contains a PDF that you can browse. Um, it has some valuable information. So I highly recommend you to, to go through that. And then the lab is like my backyard with small scripts. And this, if you want to test these scripts, I recommend that you, if you use VS Code, that you start VS Code from that directory. So into that directory, you know, start code there from, because then you get this, um, that you can run that what's in the editor. Uh, so that's that's fun to play with uh, stuff like, um, related to the audio library for generating effects and stuff like that. This is the, like micro, micro uh, programs that you can run. Uh, and then there's the main thing, the heavy, <laughs> the heavy thing. And if we go in here, we have different different libraries for, uh, you know, this is really where you can contribute in making effects and eventers and master, uh, master effects like uh, reverbs and stuff uh, and synth. And then there's the drivers who is, that's like, you know, and then there's the core. And... Um, over time, the core will become stable and you shouldn't have to mess with that too much. But currently, you know, there are issues with the, with the core, of course, because I mean, this is a early, early, I'm just, you know, giving you something to play with here. So if we go into the core, I can just show you what's the quite, quite many directories here. And, um, uh, yeah, um, different kind of things related to what you can see in the documentation. So when you, if you go into the documentation and you look at this reference, <clears throat> you have this system overview here. And I think that that is kind of, you know, correlates to the project overview. 
Um, so you can just go here to the GitHub page, study this documentation, um, download this and try to build it. Uh, and if we just look at uh, what's uh, required in the in the in the CMake here is that you we have some libraries that we need. Uh, we need port audio and RT MIDI and some stuff. So this is what I will do next that I will show you how to install this stuff on a blank Linux Mint. I think that is Linux Mint running XFCE or how do you pronounce that? Uh, so, you know, have a look around and uh, next video will be me trying to set up things so you can actually build this. and. As a final thing, just to show what's going on here, you run the you run the thing as as you want to actually compile this. I will show you later, but you need to create annoying thing. You need to create the directory build release, and you need and then you need to, in here you need to um, run cmake da da like that, and it does stuff, and then you need to. Uh, Uh, make and, and it, obviously I had already done it and then you when you, you have this binary and it's you know really small um, so uh, let's go back to the parent folder because you need to run it from here from the parent folder so and that is for that so it can find the assets and stuff like that so back to the parent folder uh, build release and you know and here we go it uh, detected my virtual keyboard uh, there and it also detected my my uh, precious LX25 um, that I use for uh, you know understanding stuff here and as I play this or my uh, MIDI virtual MIDI keyboard nothing happens and and I have to go to this like API and this is you know obviously quite ugly but this is the thing that through a really awesome JavaScript library can become the next thing. So here we use these RPC endpoints and um, they all share the same format. Um, if we can do that, like the class, and then you have the method, and you then you have additional parameters. For example, here we use the class project and we use the method load, and we want to load demo. So um, now, that we did that, we can actually play here. Both on the virtual keyboard and also on the, you know. And uh, I have um, this audio library, this is quite new for Linux called, um, not uh, my key or something, Pipewire. And uh, the, the latency is really good. Uh, so, um, I mean, it will be interesting to see because the computer I will install this on later is a really slow pig uh, atom processor, so it's worse than uh, you know Raspberry Pi. So it will be interesting to see how that performs. But you know this is what you get, and you can play with um, with you know mounting chorus and mounting the you know eventers that that I spoke about earlier. Um, you know, there's just lots of stuff and lots of stuff not working, of course. So this is just, you know, early preview. Have fun, play with it. Um, come back if you have struggles in setting this up and I will try to show you around doing that. Okay, bye.